Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. Well, so far this month of July, high temperatures have been in the 80s every single day. So is that going to continue? Well, let's take a look at the next seven days and you will clearly see that the answer is no. <laughs> we do have more 80s on the way, but we are going to drop below 80 tomorrow. Most of us will be in the mid 70s. 80s return on Thursday before some 70s push back in from the north for Friday and Saturday. By the way, the normal high now is 81 degrees. After morning clouds and some fog, we broke into a ton of sunshine by the afternoon. Really a nice afternoon across much of northeast Wisconsin. A little warm and a little muggy out there, but feeling like summer, no doubt about it. Dew points today, right around 70 degrees. Very, very sticky. We do have a cold front moving through. That'll drop the dew points down just a little bit, but tomorrow still looks humid and so does Thursday as well. So we've got a front right now pushing south across the central and eastern part of the state that is going to bring a change to our weather for tomorrow. And we've got a stationary front farther to the south. South of that front this afternoon, it is really hot. Temperatures in the 90s and low 100s. Just north of it, we had 80s to around 90. And then north of that secondary front, which is moving through right now, turning our winds to the north and east, temperatures were only in the 70s. And that is the cooler weather that is going to work in here for tomorrow. Now, right along that stationary front to our south, there is a pretty good risk for severe weather, but you can see based on the Storm Prediction Center risk categories that the bulk of that severe weather is going to pass way to our south. There's a marginal threat for Marquette County and Southern Green Lake County later on this evening into tonight, but it looks like probably just an isolated thunderstorm or shower across the area. Lots of wind damage right now being reported across parts of South Dakota, moving into northwestern Iowa. And here on the high res future radar, you can clearly see that that cluster of thunderstorms is going to drop east southeast. We still have a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm later on this evening into the early morning hours of Wednesday as that secondary cold front continues to slide off towards the south. Behind that front tomorrow we'll have easterly winds. That's why we are going to cool down. Temperatures will range from the 60s right near the lake to the upper 70s and lower 80s further inland. Still a slight chance for a shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow. It looks like most of us will probably see nothing at all, just lots of clouds in the morning and early afternoon before breaking into sun and clouds, but a pop up shower or thunderstorm cannot be ruled out. It looks like we'll have a better chance on Thursday for a shower or a thunderstorm as some warmer weather returns. So your forecast for tonight calls for a slight chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Lows will be in the 60s tomorrow. Lots of clouds breaking into some sunshine, a slight chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 76 if I can hit that high within three degrees. We will donate $100 to Lucky 7 Dog Rescue. And we did that on Saturday. I forecast a high of 82. The actual high was 84 degrees. 84 on Thursday, sun and clouds, a chance for a storm. Upper 70s on Friday and Saturday before 80s and a chance of a storm returns by Monday. When we return here, he's not actually a superhero, but he's pretty cool. We're going to introduce you to Colt, the good boy that has embraced his role as